So this is a new series that I'm doing where I show you guys all the overclocks that I have and uh, show you how I use them, uh, what they're best used for, and the loadout that I use. And I did this series because I look up on YouTube all of the overclocks to try and figure out what I'm getting before I use all the materials. And the videos, they're okay, but I have some problems with them. For example, they're not really talking throughout most of them. Most of them are just silent videos. And another thing is the fact that they're not really using the weapon. I feel like they're kind of wasting my time because the first half of the video, they're not even using the weapon. They're just, they're showing you for a few seconds what they do with the weapon. And then they go into the mission and then they use whatever weapon that they're not showing you. So with this video, I'm gonna cut all that out and uh, let's get right into it. Oh, and just as one more note, I don't have all the overclocks. So this series is gonna take a bit until I get all the overclocks. I probably will never get all the overclocks, but this is just for the ones that I have. The overclock that I'm using on the stubby, my personal favorite, is uh, EM Refire Booster. Uh, with the EM Refire Booster, you can get the uh, highest rate of fire from the stubby that you can possibly get. So uh, what I use on it is it's do it uh, is very good for electricity damage. So I'm trying to, I'm doing an electricity build here. So. I did upgraded capacitors, better chance to electrocute targets because a lot of the damage you're doing is gonna be from electrocution. Uh, improved gas system so that it fires even faster than before, making it even more effective. If you want to kill things really fast, you can put high velocity rounds, which will give you more damage. Uh, but the damage output is not equal to that that you would get using all of the expanded ammo bags damage. Uh, I did the math for that. I'll probably add that in editing. So let's uh, figure out what this weirdo is talking about. Uh, when he talks about the maximum damage you can do, he's talking about the damage that you can do with the, uh, with the full amount of reserve ammo at your usage. So with the extra damage buff that you can add with your gear modification, you're doing 11 damage per shot and have an extra reserve ammo of 420. That's the weed number. It's awesome. So if you get that, you have 4,620 maximum damage that you can possibly inflict on uh, bugs. So uh, yeah, that's pretty good. But if you get the extra ammo and do 500 and, and that gives you a reserve of 540, but you only do nine damage per shot, you get even more damage at 4,860. And I personally prefer having the extra damage because I can hit my shots a lot of the time. If you're if you're having problems missing because of the spread or the recoil, then I would recommend using uh, using the extra ammo just so that you can be you know more effective. It's gonna take you a little longer, but you know it, you're gonna have to resupply a lot less. So yeah. Then I put uh, conductive bullets over here and uh, to get more damage and you know electric field people and electric arc so that I can electrocute more and more bugs. Uh, this makes it all in all, I'd wager, one of the most damaging uh, builds in the entire game for the stubby. Right now, I'm going to be testing out the, uh, the electrocuty shooty stuff and the uh, breach cutter return to sender. Uh, it'll be differently edited in the each in different videos. It's on hazard five so that I can just get the most you can get the most enemies with the uh, To test each weapon with this is the loadout that I usually use so I'm not gonna be really learning anything I'm just gonna be showing you how I like to use this stuff I play this game quite a bit. As you can see by my level, I'm not the, I don't play this game as much as many people who make videos on this game play it. But I like this game a lot. I consider myself okay at it, you know? And building stuff is one of my favorite things. So as you can see, it kills a uh, grunt in like 0 0.5 seconds. Like, it's crazy. Kills things super duper fast. Oh, perfect! A dreadnought. That'll that'll help us understand. Uh, 
help show the, uh, the breach cutter in action. As you can see, the, they're moving slower because of the electrocution. The electrocution is killing a few grunts. Just as a quick note, the stubby normally does electrocution damage, but because of the uh, overclock that we have, it does double the electrocution damage that it would normally do. Two. See, I didn't even shoot that guy. He just electrocuted to death. Thank you, Molly, for pushing me into those guys. How easy that was? I mean, I still died. Nice understanding of how this thing is going to work for... I was trying to say that this little fight will give you a nice understanding for uh, how bigger fights will work with the stuffy. Get this thing down. Okay, get out of here too. So that concludes our tests. Hope it helped. See ya.